to keep your betta fish happy and healthy maintaining the right water parameters in your fish tank is critical in this video i am going to tell you the ideal water parameters for betta fish which includes temperature ph nitrate nitrite and ammonia levels i will also share with you some tips to maintain these water parameters in your fish tank with that being said let's start with the temperature betta fish are tropical fish that's why they need slightly warmer temperature in their fish tanks and the ideal temperature for betta fish is between 75 to 80 degree fahrenheit or 23 to 26 degree celsius like humans betta fish cannot regulate their body temperature that's why it is up to us as fish keepers to maintain the ideal temperature in our betta fish tank to maintain the temperature within the ideal range first of all you will need to monitor the temperature in your fish tank which you can easily do using a thermometer you can either use a mercury based thermometer or you can also use a digital thermometer i will make sure to put the links to both of these in the description of this video so you can easily check it out if you noticed that the temperature of your fish tank is lower than the ideal range which is 75 degree fahrenheit or 20 3 degree celsius then in that case to raise the temperature in your fish tank you will need to install an aquarium water heater and specifically you should choose a heater which has built in thermostat so you can just set the temperature in the heater and it will maintain that temperature in your fish tank i will make sure to put the link to the recommended aquarium heater with built in thermostat in the description of this video if you noticed that the temperature of your aquarium water is higher than the ideal range then in that case there are a few things that you can do to lower the temperature of your aquarium water first of all if you already have heater in your fish tank then you should turn off the heater you should also turn off the light because it also heats up the water in your fish tank besides you should also open the lid of your fish tank to lower the temperature of your aquarium water now usually the temperature of your aquarium water will not go above 80 degree fahrenheit or 26 degree celsius unless you live in a very hot region so it is not a very common problem ideal ph for betta fish tank the ideal ph range for betta fish is between 6 to 7.5 so you should try to maintain the ph of your aquarium water within this ideal range to maintain the ph in your betta fish tank first of all you will need to know the ph of your aquarium water which you can easily do using an aquarium water test kit like api master test kit api master test kit is a liquid based test kit so it is very accurate actually i have already published a video showing how to test aquarium water ph using api master test kit so i will make sure to put the link to that video in the description of this video now after testing your aquarium water if you noticed that the ph of your aquarium water is higher than the ideal range then in that case to lower the ph of your aquarium water you can replace some of the water in your fish tank with ro water besides you can also add natural driftwood in your fish tank also you can add peat moss or peat pellets in your filter to lower the ph of your aquarium water on the other hand if you found that the ph of your aquarium water is lower than the ideal range then in that case to raise the ph of your aquarium water you can replace your substrate with crushed coral or dolomite gravel or you can fill a mesh media bag with crushed coral or dolomite gravel and put it in your filter besides decorating your aquarium with limestone or coral rock will also help to raise the ph of your aquarium water ideal nitrates range for your betta fish tank high nitrates level can be deadly for your betta fish that's why you should always make sure that the nitrates level in your betta fish is lower than 40 ppm ideally your betta fish should not contain nitrates above 20 ppm now to know whether you need to lower the nitrates level in your betta fish tank first of all 
all, you will need to measure the nitrates level in your fish tank, which you can easily do using an aquarium water test kit like API master test kit. I have already published a video showing how to test your aquarium water for nitrates using API master test kit. So I will make sure to put the link to that video in the description of this video. If you noticed that the nitrates level in your beta fish tank is more than 40 ppm, then in that case to lower the nitrates in your beta fish tank, you should do a partial water change of 20 to 30 percent of your aquarium water. Ammonia and nitrite levels in beta fish tank. Even a slight ammonia and nitrite in your beta fish can be deadly for your beta fish. That's why your beta fish should not have any ammonia and nitrites. You can easily test whether your beta fish tank contains any ammonia or nitrites using API master test kit. So again, I have already published a video showing how to test your aquarium water for ammonia and nitrite. So I will make sure to put the link to that video in the description of this video so you can easily check it out. After testing your beta fish water, if you noticed that your beta fish tank contains ammonia and or nitrites, then in that case, you should immediately do partial water change. Now, if you are noticing ammonia and nitrites in your fish tank, then it is a sign that your fish tank is not properly cycled. So in that case, you will need to first cycle your fish tank. I have actually written several articles on how to cycle your fish tank. So I will make sure to put the links to all of them in the description of this video. After cycling your fish tank properly, you will not see any ammonia and nitrite level in your beta fish tank. Oxygen in a beta fish tank. Beta fish needs oxygen just as we do, but they need dissolved oxygen. That's why you should always make sure that your beta fish contains optimum dissolved oxygen. Now you don't need to measure the oxygen levels in your beta fish tank. Basically, to always make sure that your beta fish has sufficient dissolved oxygen, you just need to create some water surface agitation on the surface of your beta fish tank. This basically helps to oxygenate your beta fish tank water. And the easiest way to create water agitation on the surface of your beta fish tank is by using an air pump. Now when it comes to air pump, you should make sure that you are getting a quiet air pump because you will need to keep the air pump running all the time and it can be very irritating if you chose an air pump which makes noise. So I will make sure to put the link to a quiet air pump in the description of this video so you can easily check it out. Chlorine and heavy metals in a beta fish tank. Now this aspect of water parameters when it comes to beta fish tank is often overlooked especially by beginners. Basically chlorine and heavy metals are harmful and can be deadly for your beta fish. That's why you should make sure that your beta fish tank doesn't contain chlorine or heavy metals. And the easiest way to remove chlorine and heavy metals from your beta fish tank is to use a water conditioner or a dechlorinator. Actually, you should first dechlorinate your aquarium water before adding it in your beta fish tank. And while doing partial water change, you should first dechlorinate your aquarium water and then you should add the water in your beta fish tank. Now there are a lot of dechlorinators and water conditioners available for aquarium water. I will make sure to put the link to the recommended water conditioner in the description of this video so you can easily check it out. So these are all the water parameters that you will need to maintain in your beta fish tank for its proper growth and development. Throughout the video, I have mentioned some helpful resources such as how to test your aquarium water using API master test kit video as well as recommended products and links to aquarium cycle related articles. And I will make sure to put links to all of them in the description of this video. So make sure to check it out. Besides that, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such helpful videos.